Hello folks, I'm going to show you here how a template works for quantification and add part numbers and things like that. So basically what happens is you have this schedule here and this reflecting everything I have in this model. Now this is not generally the file we're working in, it'll be a transfer file and I'll show that in a later video. So what you have to do here, which is not complete, you have to basically show all of the parts and pieces. So these are the system families and their cable trays. And what we basically did was rename these trays based on the tray that we sell. We can't really go in and make any changes or anything because they're system families, but they quantify. So as you can see right here, there are those family trays and the lengths because they're re reflective in that model. Now what I should have did, I should have worked on um, my UK version because I did all that fittings mostly. These I've got a little ways to go and we'll probably be splitting them up into three different uh, sections based on classes. So class one, class two, and class three. So basically all you do here is, so I'm going to go to my power level here and I'm going to just go off to the side here. And I'm going to uh, just lay out some cable trays. So I will go to systems and I'll go to cable tray. And then I want to select the cable tray fittings that I want to use. So I want to use, the, say, the US tray. Let's do this 24 inch. And then I'll place a piece here. And then what I want to do here from that point. Let's go ahead and make this a 12 foot piece because they sell them that way, but we're not going to necessarily sell them that way because it would be very cumbersome to just place 12 foot pieces. So I'm just going to say 12 right here. Now with this tray, I can just select it. And then I'm going to my edit types and then I'll select all of the fittings I want. So my vertical inside then it should be in there. So I'm going to use the 24. Oops, sorry. I'm going to select the 24 for that one. For the outside, I want to go and select the 24 as well. For my T, I'll select the 24 here. For my cross, I'll select the 24 as well. Didn't do any reducers, didn't do any unions. I'm going to probably do another one with showing the one with all the pieces, which is in the, the UK version. Spent a lot of time on that one, uh, but I think it's done almost. So I'm going to say apply here. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and I'll do a draw cable tray and I'll do my 90. And there's that piece pops right in. So that's the 90. I'll draw again. Let's go up and do another 90. And then if I draw another cable tray here, I should get my T. So there's all my fittings. Now if I go to my schedule, see what happened. They just sort of pop right in. So I'm working right in the schedule. Normally you would transfer these uh, over. So now let's go, I think I got some verticals in here. So let's take a section right through here. Or let's go this way and let's drop this guy down some here. So I'm gonna double click there. And then I'm gonna pick this guy here and I'm gonna draw another cable tray. Oops, sorry, get in here a little bit. I'll make this fine as well so we can see everything. There you go. Oh, it's way out here, no wonder. So I'm going to click it here. I want to draw a cable tray. I think we had an outside, did we? Yeah, there it is. And it popped right in there. So there are my lengths. And then as you can see down below here, There are my vertical fittings that I placed in. 
So if I undo this, you'll see these disappear. So now I want to do another little thing here. Uh, let me redo those so we can see. I think I'll probably make another one of these for the other. Now then here I can also do this. Like say here. I want to do a T. So let me do a T here. Well, T will come this way. Let's go cable tray. Place my T. Just hit that little center line. And my T will come in. And there it is. As you can see, uh, it will be where it's elbow. There it is right there. So now, let's go in and add some equipment here to make it really interesting. So I'm gonna go to my, I'm on my power level, so let's go insert, load family. I'm gonna do another one of these complete. I, I have to do more fittings because I don't have them all. You have to create all the fittings in order for this to work properly. And I was ahead on this one, but apparently I'm ahead on another product. So I'll probably do a temper for the other product. Can't use them, unfortunately, because they're metric. Okay, so now I'm going to go to, uh, I'm sorry, brain's not working well now. For, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. I want to insert. I want to load a family. And let's go up. Oh, throttle this. I'm sorry. My brain's not working tonight. There we go, Imperial Library. Uh, let's go to Electrical. Let's go to MEP. Uh, let's go to Electrical Power. Uh, distribution. Uh, let's do a, uh, let's see what we want to do here. Just want to drop some equipment in here and show you how this works. Uh, no, I don't want to do appliance board. I want to do a let's do okay. Let's go with a transformer 40. That would be while we want something that goes on the floor. So let's place one here, and then we will go to systems equipment. And we'll place that equipment there. Let's place another one, say, here. And let's go add another piece of equipment. Uh, let's go to motor just now. Let's go with a uh, power generator. And let's place that guy systems equipment. That's oops. Wow, that's a big one. Let's drop it in there anyway, see what happens. So let's go to our 3D view. Wow. Don't want to have to redo this video. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to undo that. <laughs> so let's just place another one of these generators. Let's just copy this guy over here, this dry transformer. Let's just copy it here. So the trick is, I want to run this cable tray to these three pieces of equipment. So I'll just go here and I'll draw my cable tray. It actually went down right there. That's okay. So what I can do here, I can go draw a cable tray. I'm going to get a 90 band here. Come to there. Actually, no, I want to do a T. So it should be to drag this guy straight through. Nope, I'm going to do that. I won't work that way. So let me go. Let's do this. I want to take this guy out. And I want to go here and draw a cable tray. And I want to get my T right in there. So these are all of my 
cable trades, when you see them popping up and, fill, and, and, and filling up the schedule here. So uh, then here, let's go to this view. Let's go into this view here. Let's drop down into these pieces of equipment. Uh, they're kind of high. So now this is a good thing with these trays. We can go and nudge them up, and they won't mess anything up. That's why we want to stick with the system stuff because it's all automatic and it works good. And then another thing we can do, I can go here, say, let's go here now. Let's raise this up a little bit more. Oh, went away on me. So I want to take this tray here now. I want to go right click, draw a cable tray. Nope, not in that view. I need to be in this view right here. And I want to pull this out so we can see what's happening here. Actually, I did get it down in there. Pretty good. Not bad. So let's just pull this guy down to that piece of equipment. I can nudge this guy up more. I can right click draw cable tray and drop this one there. Oh, no, I can't. Something's wrong there. Let's just pull this guy out a little bit more. Move him there. Let's take this up. Uh, I don't think I have any inside trays, pieces select created. Oh, I do apparently. That's the that's the forty one ninety. See, you can see it there. That's the forty one ninety vertical outside. Okay, so that's good. Then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come here. I'm going to drop this guy down there. So that's just a brief uh, example of how these work, these tempers work. I really like them because you can quantify. And there you see everything sort of building out that I placed in that model. There's all of the vertical elbows. And these are all the straight runs. Now, what it did for me in the straight runs, we sell them in 12 feet length. But, uh, oh, actually, hmm, y'all hear the lengths right here. So there's one, two foot ten. So those are the different lengths. So if I undo this, you see them disappear. So guys, I'm going to leave it here. This is just something I've been working on. I'm not done with it because I didn't do all the fittings. But I got one with all the fittings, but I haven't started. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.